So guys, today I went to Eastbourne Air Show, or Airborne as it's known, and uh, the weather was absolutely terrible. It was raining, it was windy, um, the visibility was okay, um, but people still turned up, which was good. The army were there, the navy, the air force, and loads of other different groups, uh, charities and things like that, some fun stuff like this, there was bouncy castles, um, there was loads and loads of different things there. Um, this that great big wheel as well, the um, you could go up into. Um, absolutely cool. So, Sony RX10 Mark IV day out camera, absolutely amazing. Even though the light was absolutely terrible and the visibility was a bit rubbish, um, and it was a little bit sort of hazy, misty as well. Um, as you can see, looks absolutely great. Um, so, just looking around, basically, um, obviously got red arrow stuff there. Unfortunately, they postponed all of the flights um, of all of the display until 4 p.m. Um, which was annoying but anyway I persevered. Um, so this shot here was basically someone's little dog that apparently can't walk because they stuck it in their handbag which is a bit pathetic and park cameras were there so uh, the shop I basically buy from all the time uh, park cameras there so I had a good job to chat to the guys there so hi guys you're right. Um, I should be going there soon to see them again. And back to the uh, the big wheel so 24 millimeters wide angle on the RX10 um, hardly any distortion at all when it looks really good especially if you've got something like that I was stood basically straight underneath it um, you know the highlights in the black and white there looks, looks really cool um, they have radio airborne every year so that's um, a good thing to listen into so it's helping me um, learn about the sort of delays and everything of the planes flying so that helped quite well uh, and then the food that was there, there was tons of burgers and things like that as well but they also had a paella stand there as well so a huge big pan there of uh, paella which uh, looked quite tasty um, so that was good especially when the, the weather was pretty minging uh, the Chinook there um, it looked really shiny um, I'm guessing it's not used <laughs> um, or it's just the shell not really sure if it's decommissioned or what but uh, I'm not sure if it actually landed there or what but it's uh, quite cool um, so this shot here of the helmet, actually the um, awning or gazebo thing they had, actually had the Royal Battle Air Force um, Memorial Flight uh, thing on the outside, but obviously in a from underneath it was back to front, but obviously when we looked at it in the visor it was actually the other way around. Some random lifeguards, apparently that uh, you know they might be needed for swimming. <laughs> I don't think anybody was going in the sea today. Um, cool dog. I didn't actually see many dogs, but I'm guessing there's the odd one or two there. Um, but it was kind of cute. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, really, really sharp images still, even though the light was a bit pants. This guy's, the two guys up there, they were the, um, I guess, official photographers or videographers there. He had a big gimbal with a Canon DSLR on it. And the other guy, you can see, is snapping away. So they've obviously gone up for a good view. Uh, bomb squad were there. Uh, with a random bomb, which was kind of cool. Uh, very interesting. You can go around and ask people things, and they tell you exactly what they do, and you know how to uh, join the army and stuff like that. That's what they're recruiting for. Uh, there's a VR thing there as well, so you can actually go and have a look at the virtual reality, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, what else we got? We have. They also had a, a motorsports team, so they obviously do racing. Uh, obviously, learning how to you know, um, the engineering side of things, which is, uh, is kind of cool, nice and interesting. Um, and then there was a Chinook helicopter there, which you could go into. Um, I didn't go in, I've been in it before, um, but there's loads of people queuing up, and you just you can see inside there's a few videos and things like that. Um, and then there was a few mascots wandering around, as you can see here, they were kind of cool. It's probably the nicest place to be, nice and warm and dry, um, which is quite funny. They were trying not to bump into each other, which was uh, quite amusing. Uh, the big wheel um, was the most prominent thing there. Uh, with the rubbish sky behind it, it didn't really work. But when you put it into black and white like this shot, it kind of stands out and it's kind of kind of cool. And it's because it's quite symmetrical in, in you know, and the patterns and things like that look quite good, especially obviously looking at it like that. Um, but uh, yeah, it was quite crammed with uh, things, but it was not that busy. Because the weather was a bit rubbish, there was a few thousand, probably a thousand people there, I guess, spread out over the whole area. 
um, and even people buying ice creams even though it was spitting with rain and everything like that so but that's been this shot here has actually been cropped in to about 400 um, percent just so you can see the detail of the RX10s um, shot there and this shot here is just a mega crop straight into the middle of the uh, the big wheel there I just thought it was quite cool it's almost like a spider web um, and then the guy decided he was going to climb up it and obviously do some checks or something um, braver man than me I wouldn't want to climb up that but uh, yeah so he was uh, busy doing things like that so that shows you how usable the camera is because the fact you've got 24 to 600 mil you know zoom and wide angle built in with no real distortion or lack of quality or lack of sharpness it's really really usable um, and then I decided I was going to go up onto the downs to get a good view of the planes and everything and the, this puts a reminder in the terrorist anti-terrorist um, crash barriers and things like that are all being put in place now so uh, yeah yes I'm now very soaked and still no sign of the plane So they held the planes off until um, four o'clock, and uh, my trousers are soaked. I'm soaked. Still no planes. And uh, yeah, come here. Well, at least the Sony Xperia XZ2 Compact, which I'm filming on now. And as the rain sort of, st sort of died off a little bit, it was still raining for a good little while. They actually postponed the, the flying even longer by the looks of it. It was about 4.15 by they turned up. And uh, the first one was the uh, Chinook helicopter, the twin-bladed military helicopter, which is always cool to see. And we actually have them where I live quite a lot, especially at night time they do some low-level flying and, and things like that, you know, um, which we see regularly, which is kind of cool. Never get bored of that. Um, but with the video, I found with the um, RX10 Mark IV absolutely fine with the video. It was following and tracking, um, auto focusing on, onto the helicopter, no trouble at all. The only trouble I've noticed actually is the, um, and obviously did a bit of slow motion from about two miles away. Um, I had a wet lens, I, I, the camera was absolutely drenched. I was drenched. I had nothing. Um, to dry the, the, the front of the lens element off with and uh, the car was quite a long way away I didn't want to obviously miss out so I tried to get the front element of the lens nice and dry um, even my lens cloth I'd already used a few times once it was, when it was raining um, and I just couldn't get it couldn't get it dry and you'll see in a minute when the Eurofighter is flying the, when it, it rained again um, that you can see the stabilisation working I think um, you can see it moving around in the in the image, <clears throat> um, which is a bit weird. But I've never seen it before, so I, I'm presuming it's to do with the sort of hazy, wet end of my lens is obviously refracting light down the down the lens barrel differently than it would do normally, which is obviously showing some lighter and darker bits of of the lens. So you'll see that in a minute, which is a bit odd. But these are some more shots of the the Chinook flying around. Um, so I'm a good couple of miles away from the pier. Um, not ideal, I mean the weather was terrible, the visibility was very restricted so it, even though it looks like there's a noise, it's noisy in the image, it's actually just rain and just haziness that's causing the sort of grainy look. Um, as the helicopter got closer you can see there he's flying past me. Um, it wasn't so bad but you know it's a little bit annoying but you know what can you do, I've still got the shots, um, you can't change the weather unfortunately. Um, but as he flew round round the point there, the, the lighthouse is actually to the left. He didn't fly quite close enough. I was hoping he was going to go a lot closer to the uh, the lighthouse. We were supposed to have a Spitfire, the memorial flight, and everything like that. Because it was so late in the day, I think they just cancelled it all and just left the military helicopters and the the military jet to come through. Because I think it was just they fly better in the bad weather. So I think this is an Augusta. I'm not sure what model it is. Um, as you can see here, it's flying about. 
camera absolutely you know locked onto it even from miles and miles away it was no problem at all um, but you can see the stabilization there with my wet lens uh, a little bit of slow motion 500 frames a second um, as he sort of cruised past me which is kind of cool quite like the uh, he's got some kind of wolf or something on the rear quarter below the rear wheels or well, above the rear, rear wheels sorry um, something going on there but that's quite a cool machine um, but uh, yeah no so you'll see in a second with the um, Eurofighter what I mean about the lens you'll see a bright area sort of moving around in the image um, and I think that's just down to the refraction of water on my lens the lights coming into it and things happening As you can see, I, I'm thinking that's the stabilisation of the lens moving around, so you can actually see what's going on, you know, by the light and dark bit of the in the, in the actual lens itself, which is a bit annoying, but still got some video. Anyway, you can see here the uh, the jet flying low. Um, it's also the weather was so sort of it's not it wasn't misty. It was kind of I don't know, just like wet air. It was um, you could still see quite well, but the you can see the graininess in the in the in the um, in the images, and it it was just a murky day, and you know my shutter speeds are still quite high. Um, I'm still shooting at ISO 100. because you've got f4, you know you still get the shutter speed high, which is a real benefit of it. Um, you know, so I'm still getting the shots, but unfortunately the plane wasn't coming close enough. Um, but you know, still got some okay shots here. It's still sharp. It's still tracking. It was all fully fully auto focused tracking the. Uh, plane absolutely no problem at all it just had one little glitch which you just saw a second ago on the video where it just let go for a second and then went or half or not even that a little while and just refocused again other than that it didn't let go at all just tracked it perfectly um, you know so can't complain that at all the camera did its job it was absolutely drenched um, they did say the weather was going to get better so we were stood outside waiting and then it just let rip so absolutely drenched me the camera um, and I'd, like I said, I, I couldn't clean the, the element anymore, um, and uh, unfortunately, it was. Uh, I think that's affected the stabilisation. But in fact, you can see there a bit of vignetting um, around the outside. Um, just lack of light, really. I think that doesn't help. Um, but you know, 
pretty all all in all, I'm glad I stayed hung around. I was just going to go home because um, they said that the planes weren't going to fly, but I'm glad I hung around. At least got a few shots, and it was enough to just chuck a video together at least, so you guys can see a bit more how the uh, how the camera performs in different different ways. So, uh, but yeah, so guys, please um, subscribe. Please click the, not click the notification bell. Also, check my Patreon channel out as well. I'll put a link below. And uh, keep watching, and I'll see you soon.